right, students, today we are going to be making warm and cool colored fish. Um, the fish will be warm colors and our water will be cool colors. We are going to start on our white paper with our white oil pastel. So this will be a little bit tricky for you to see on the video. However, once we add paint in just a minute, you'll be able to see my lines just great. So what you're gonna do is grab your oil pastel and you are going to start drawing different lines on your paper. You can look at our lines poster on the board or you can come up with your own lines. You're going to fill your paper up with probably about 15 different lines. I'm gonna fast forward through this part because it'll be pretty hard for you to see me draw this on the white paper and then when we start to add paint, you'll see what it looks like. So I'm gonna look at my lines poster and start coming up with some lines. I'm making sure that I'm pressing down with pretty good pressure because we know that our oil pastel will show much better when we add our paint if we're pressing down with some pretty good pressure on our oil pastel. I'm also trying pretty hard to make sure that I'm starting and ending in the same place. I don't want my diagonal lines to start to get a little bit di uh, <laughs> I don't want my lines to start to get a little bit diagonal. I want them to try to be going straight across. So I've kind of started putting my finger where I start and then as I'm ending, I'm trying to end up right across from that finger. All right, so I'm all done with my lines. Now I am ready to add our color to our background. We're going to use liquid watercolors for these. So I can start and you will start to see our lines show up. So that's why pressing down pretty hard with our oil pastel is important. So our lines show up really, really well. I kind of like to do little sections of color. Making sure to wash my brush really well between colors. All right, so there is my paper completely painted in. Now you can see my lines much better. I tried to not repeat any lines. Um, and then, like I said, I tried to make sure that I was going straight across from where I started. So if I started here, I tried to make sure that my line didn't end up being diagonal as I was heading to the other side. And I tried to do something different all the way down so I have this really interesting background. I made sure not to leave too much space so it's kind of really busy and has a lot going on. Let's see how many lines I did end up doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 exactly, I called it. All right, so make sure you are doing the same thing. Next time when we come to class, we will start on our little fish. All right, friends. Today is part two of our fish project. You are going to get three of these little white papers and you are going to have a packet of fish outlines. This is to give you some ideas of some fish that you can do if you'd like. So there's lots of different ones that you can choose from and you can kind of flip through these and try to find some that you would like to do. Maybe I'll start with one from this page. I'm thinking I really like this one. You guys are of course going to draw these with pencil, but I wanna make sure that you can see what I'm drawing on the video. So I'm going to start with a Sharpie, which I find to be a little bit trickier, but we'll see what I can do here. So I'm gonna start, I think I'm gonna start with the tail. I think it's easy to break it down into simple shapes. So I kind of noticed that this tail kind of has two diagonal lines with just a simple wavy line connecting it, nothing too tricky, okay? And then this comes out. And of course you might be doing a different fish, but I do just want you to be thinking about how you can simplify these because they can look hard to draw, 
if you're just trying to think of drawing it all at once. But if you break it down into some simple shapes, it does, it isn't as hard as you think it is. And if it doesn't look exactly like this, that's fine. It'll still look like a fish. Thankfully, fish comes in all kinds of shapes and sizes, so it's really hard to mess it up. So I kind of ran out of space. I didn't end up getting to make his, his front half as long as I wanted. Uh, and if I had an eraser, I would probably fix it, but that's okay. There's one. There's another one I'd like to do. Ooh, I kind of like this one. I'll try to be a little bit more mindful of how much space I have on this one. That's my other one. I made his nose start to drop down too soon, but thankfully we're gonna cut these out, so I'll just cut that little part off. That one's cute. All right, I need one more. Maybe I'll do this one. Kind of looks like a goldfish. I think I'm gonna try to turn my paper a little sideways so I have a smidge more room. That's all right, never mind. Okay, there we go. And I kind of did the same thing here, so I'm probably gonna end up cutting that one off as well. Then what we want to do is draw where their eyes are gonna go. So I'm just gonna kind of guess. All right, so there are my cute little fishies. Now we are going to paint them with warm colors. So let me grab my paints real quick. All right, so I've got my fish. Now I've got my warm color paints out over here and I'm going to start painting them in. An important part is to not paint that little tiny eyeball. So I'm gonna do my very best not to do that. And again, I like to kind of just paint them in little sections. And do your best not to go outside of the lines, but if you do, it's not a huge deal because we are going to cut them out. And I like painting while some colors are still wet so and they kind of blend into each other like that starting to do. Okay, they're looking really great. Now we just have to let them dry. Next time we will add our details. All right, so now my fish are dry. They're looking really cute. Now we are going to be using lines similar to what we did in our background on our fish to give them a bunch of texture and interest going on. So I'm gonna use probably maybe even a combination of the regular Sharpie and the skinny Sharpie just because they're kind of small. I wanna be able to do lots of different designs. I'm going to first do their eyeball. So I'm gonna add a little highlight in, in their eyes. Then I'm gonna color in the rest. And then I like to even make them look a little bit bigger by putting a little circle around the outside as well. I maybe made them a little bit too big, but that's okay. Who doesn't mind a big fish eye? <laughs> They're kind of huge. That's okay. They're cute. All right. So now I'm going to start adding. I like to start by putting this little like curved line around the front part of their face. I feel like that gives me a good starting point of where to start the rest of my designs. I want to give them a little mouth. I just realized I didn't do that. 
So now I can look up at my lines poster and start thinking of some fun lines and designs to draw on the fish. I like to have their fins have fin lines and then I put like the decorations on the rest of their body. So I wanna make my lines kind of small and detailed and leave them pretty close together so I have room to do lots of different lines and designs. How cute is that little fish? Let's do another one. And there's my last fish. They're looking so cute. Now I'm gonna be really careful when I'm cutting them out. I wanna leave that black outline, but cut off as much of the white background paper as possible. So I'm gonna be super careful when I'm cutting. Okay, they're all cut out. Now we just have the final step, which is gluing them down. We have our warm colored fish on our cool colored background. I'm just going to put little dots of glue around the edges. And sometimes because both papers are painted, it kind of takes a little bit for it to want to stick down. So you just got to be patient. Okay, now I just need to hold them down for a little bit. Oh my goodness! Look at those adorable warm colored fish and my cool colored ocean or background. It is so cute. I love the line designs and I like how that is repeating, um, not only in the background, but also on our fish. It adds a lot of interest, it adds a lot of detail. I think it looks so great and I can't wait to see how yours turn out.